So in yesterday's video, I mentioned the concept of ecosystem services, which is sort of a, I don't know, a buzz marketing word for <laughs> all the thing that, things that nature do, does that has an economic value that we usually don't think about, but that if you get rid of nature, it causes externalities that end up costing you a lot more money. And the example I brought up was wasps tending to the spinach. Because if you look at any of these leaves, I'm gonna put it back around so you can see the spinach and see the wasps working on it. But if you look at these leaves, they're pretty much perfect. I mean, I see maybe one little hole, but in general, it's just a perfect little leaf. Um, no obvious bug damage. There's a little bit of water on it. This one has maybe, say, one little, a couple little holes on it. Looks like maybe from a mason bee, because they make little circular holes. Um, actually, that's what I bet it would be. But in general, the spinach is perfect. And, you know, I use some compost and a tiny bit of organic fertilizer this spring. So the nutrition is good and the soil chemistry is pretty good. Uh, but there's no sort of pesticides. There's no, no, nothing that kills insects. And it looks like I scared them off now, but I'll show you a clip of what the wasps were doing before. And you could see them just combing through constantly in the spinach, a whole herd of them. But, you know, as soon as I came over, they went away. They're not aggressive at all. And I've noticed that with wasps and bees in the garden, that when they're in their native context, they're, oh, there's a wasp. It just came out of nowhere. Um, they're not aggressive. They're, they're perfectly happy to just be hunting or uh, eating nectar from the flowers. Uh, they're, you know, they're flying around me, but they're very different than if they, say, get trapped in your house. Or if you attack their nest, obviously they're going to be mad at you. But I haven't seen any nests here. So I wanted to use that as an example of an ecosystem service, because a lot of times we think of negative externalities, which, you know, for example, say climate change, the people in sub-Saharan Africa or anyone who's not involved in the direct buying of gasoline or coal or natural gas and then burning it isn't benefiting from it, but they still face the additional cost on the world of that amount of emissions in the atmosphere. So that's a negative externality. But there's also a lot of positive externalities. And one example of, say, planting flowers is that they benefit the pollinators, which is positive. They benefit me because I enjoy them. They benefit others because others can enjoy the, the flower. And as a health of the ecosystem in general, or in total, there's a lot of positive externalities. And so I think we should look for these examples of ecosystem services or beneficial things that nature is doing that benefit humans, benefit me by making more, more attractive, healthier spinach in this case. So just a little thought from today. I don't know if you can tell, but it has a caterpillar in its mouth. It's kind of just another fun uh, benefit of the ecology in the garden, eating potential pests. It's not fun for the caterpillar, but probably good for the plants. <laughs> 